Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about one of the best climbers you can put in your garden in the Northern Hemisphere that is guaranteed to attract a whole host of wildlife to your garden. And that is, of course, these beautiful, or this beautiful honeysuckle, which has these rather exquisite flowers, which are just, some are going over now, but you can see some are just coming into bud and they really are absolutely gorgeous now honeysuckle the uh, Lanistera uh, periclaminum is uh, is renowned for its scent in the evening and therefore in the evening and through the night is very attractive for many many moth species so in particular things such as the hawk moths absolutely love these flowers they love to come and nectar on these flowers so a really good one for attracting moths and therefore of course bats as well uh, I've also just recently done a video on how to make a bat box if you haven't seen that already do check that out and I'll put a link at the end of this video uh, because um, bats of course need food just as much as moths do so um, yeah a really good one for attracting moths to your garden this honeysuckle is and as you can see it's kind of woven itself up in between you can see it just kind of working its way up through my giant buddleia which is home to a whole colony of house sparrows throughout most of the year which uh, goes somewhere above me uh, you can see a few more flowers of this honeysuckle above my head absolutely stunning flowers and they really are a good one for providing as well a lot of habitat for birds now if you grow these uh, plants as an individual plant up a fence or along a hedgerow along a, a wall sorry uh, up some trellis work then they are really good at providing lots of dense cover which in turn can be very attractive to a lot of birds in particular whole colonies of house sparrows if you let it get big enough and also they're great as a nesting potential for birds i mean um mixed in with the buddleia just up here above my head uh, somewhere in there there is a wood pigeon nest uh, but the honeysuckle can actually provide nice dense cover for a lot of nesting birds blackbirds robins dunnock song thrush that sort of thing uh, so it's a really good one for providing a block of cover now the thing i love about honeysuckle is it will grow in many many situations almost any soil type uh, it'll also grow uh, in very heavy shade so the native version the native variety if you like the periclaminum uh, it does grow very well in woodland settings where of course it is the larval food plant of the white admiral butterfly uh, so a really good one in a woodland setting not that many of you will unfortunately have the opportunity to attract white admiral butterflies to your garden unless you own a block of woodland at the bottom of your garden and you are in the sort of the south of the country uh, then uh, it's not going to be too likely however it doesn't stop these being absolutely fantastic at attracting a lot of insects to your garden in particular as well bees I uh, love the nectar and the pollen available on these flowers. So honeysuckle goes really well in a, a shady spot in the garden, goes really well in sun as well. So a really versatile plant and one that makes a really good uh, screen for birds and provides a lot of habitat. Now, if you're looking to buy some of these, we actually now have some on the Wild Your Garden website. Now, this is a variety called Serotina, uh, which has slightly more... A prolific flowering habit if you like is very very similar to the native as you can see with the the leaves uh, they're almost identical the flowers are very very similar as well and it's equally just as attractive uh, it does provide um, food for larval food plants of a few moth species as well so serotina we have these now in stock on the wild your garden website so if you haven't checked that out your one-stop shop for all your wildlife gardening needs uh, then do have a look wildyourgarden.com where you can find everything from uh, pond liners bird boxes bird food and the like but in particular wildflowers and climbers as well so honeysuckle if you hadn't thought about having some in your garden find a spot for some it's absolutely brilliant it'll grow almost anywhere and make the most of your vertical spaces there's also many more climbers on the wild your garden website things such as hop uh, we've got some jasmines on there as well uh, lots and lots of options so um, hopefully something for everyone anyway thanks for watching guys if you've enjoyed the video please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be sure to bring you more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife in videos to come thanks for watching I'll see you soon Thank you.